one of the most important things about collaboration is relationships. If you don't get your relationships right, collaboration will fall over. And you have to work really hard as a team to make sure that collaboration, um, that collaboration and collaborative relationships are positive and don't let elephants grow in the room. So take time to discuss the small problems because they will grow. We established relationships in our team by taking the time to work through what our non-negotiables were as a teacher before we even went into our collaborative spaces and we reassess them every term, we look at them, make sure that we're still on the right track. The um, non-negotiables have actually dwindled down to a couple for each teacher. It's really important to acknowledge those non-negotiables because that's what can cause conflict among teachers. We use Joan Dalton Learning Talk to help frame conversations, especially when we're going to have a challenging or courageous conversation that might be difficult because as teachers it's easier to keep our mouths closed, we don't want to talk about things, so we've done a lot of work with Joan, Joan Dalton's Learning Talk to help us facilitate those conversations. One of the challenges when you've built such a strong relationship as a team is when one person leaves that team and another person comes in, you have to be very aware of supporting the new person in their role, in their job and including them in everything that you do while upskilling them in the way that you work as a team. Um, it's important to make sure they have their say on everything, even if it's something that's been going on in your learning community for a while, it's still important to listen to what they bring to the table. In order to have everybody's voices heard, it's important that you make sure that at meetings everyone has their say and you um, pull out the best ideas from everyone's discussion and build something that's co-created. Um, as a syndicate leader, it's really important that you don't always take the lead in those discussions because often teachers will turn to you because you lead the syndicate so they turn to you for advice and it's the same when you're teaching. You have to step back from being the leader and let others take the lead um, and that gives everyone a sense of self-worth too.